I'm going to make a short video here. I just want to show you how you, you, you change the serpentine belt, right? This multi-ribbed belt, okay? Uh, first of all, let me state, you know, the routing of it. So you, we've got a crankshaft sensor, sorry, we've got a crankshaft pulley this side. And this is the tensioner. You can actually see that it's one thing. It is a tensioner. We will come to this one because that's the most important. This is the alternator. This is the water pump. This is the air condition pump. That's the air con pump. And then we've got an idler gear here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six gears. Some of the serpentine belt, they'll go through seven, okay? But this one is six. So uh, here we go. Just want to show you here how we remove this belt. So this is how you move the tensioner. And then the next thing you take it, take the belt out. Okay, and then you can let go of the tensioner and then you can take your belt, please let me say this to you, if you do not have a diagram uh, of how this, the, this belt is rooted, before you remove it, just make a sketch on a piece of paper. Just draw these pulleys. Try to show the, you know, the, the, the size, the difference in size. And you can, you can name them as well. Even if you make them the same, you can still name them as long as you know what it is. Crank, you know, tensioner, water pump, uh, alternator, air condition, and then you've got the idler here. Then you, you draw your belt the way it goes because it's easy when you remove to think that ah, it's so easy, I, I'll remember this, but I can tell you it's not easy to fit it back. So, there you go. I just wanted to make a short video for you. Uh, this particular vehicle uh, engine, sorry, is from a Mazda 6, so it applies to every other uh, engine. All that you need to do is to locate your tensioner and you know see what size of spanner you need and then you move your tensioner and then you can change the belt remember to subscribe and click the notification bell thank you